What's your take? You know, we're talking about college football playoffs and everything. What's next for San Diego State football? What do they have to look forward to in this offseason? Well, they've, they've got some restructuring to do uh, from a, a player standpoint. They're, they're obviously losing virtually their entire defensive front. Uh, they've signed four junior college players already. I think there'll be an announcement probably in the next couple of weeks that there will be transfer portal guys coming in, probably most of them on the defensive side. Uh, they got to solve the quarterback issue with Jalen Maiden because his last two games against the Air Force and then the bowl game, not very good in terms of consistency. I mean, 17 for 43 throwing the football with three interceptions and a fumble is not quality. So they get they got work to do there. I just tend to think that this was an aberration of a year for Brady Hoke, but it does leave a bad taste in your mouth. They wound up seven and six and they didn't beat anybody really of note. And, and when they played a marquee team, they wound up losing. And they wound up losing to quarterbacks because San Diego State's quarterback situation was in such a state of disarray. And in terms of where they go in the future, I know it's 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 the novelty of Aztec fans, friends, and alums in the media. Pac-12, take us. Well, please tell me what what do they bring to the Pac-12? Unless the fact they put Pac-12 conference on their calling card to recruit a better breed of player because of being the Pac-12. But I, I don't know they bring anything. You know, and we talked about what, what happened this season at, at Snapdragon Stadium. That stadium we were so excited about to open. And what happened? The horrible opening game and the hard 110-degree heat, and they lost to Arizona, and the season went down the drain, and you had all the quarterback controversies and the transfers and the coach and how he responded to the media. And by the end of the season, they were getting 17,000 in the stadium in attendance. 17,000. Mm -hmm. You think, do you think 17,000 Pac 12? No. Nah, no so I don't know. Pac 12 is not going to make a decision we're led to believe until they get the new TV media contract put in place. And that'll be probably sometimes in 2024. And then they'll make a decision. Would I like to see it happen? Sure. I don't think they bring a heck of a lot to Pac 12 football. And I think there'd be a bottom dweller going in the front door. But they'll, they'll be able to better recruit because, quote, they're a member of the Pac-12, but you're getting your brains beat out week in, week out. Is that is that good for the program? Basketball obviously would carry a lot of clout because they're e probably equal to being as good as anybody in the Pac-12. So it'll be interesting to see, but they got work to do uh, in the offseason just to take the football program and build it back to where it was because it kind of slipped away from them this season.